This video is presented to you by CXO Learning Academy, a learning initiative by CXO Math. In this video, we will understand equity as part of the accounting equation assets equal to liability plus owner's equity. The classification of equity in the balance sheet and the different types of transactions made in the equity account. To review the basic accounting equation, asset that is, that is the resource equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. So liabilities plus owner's equity is the claim on resources. Equity or owner's capital is part of the equation which balances that equation along with liabilities. Let's talk about equity. Owner's equity can be thought as the source of assets. Equity in general is ownership in any asset after all the debts associated with that asset are fully paid off. Equity in the firm and individual business is the cash that the owner brings in to buy assets and provide for working capital. At the start of the business, owner puts some funding into the business to finance the operation. This creates a liability on the business in form of capital as the business is a separate entity from its owner. After liabilities have been accounted for, the positive remainder is deemed the owner's interest in the business. Entity for a corporate is in form of a share uh, or also commonly known as stock. The equity account sees the following transactions. Share capital. Share capital is the funds raised by issuing shares in return for cash or other considerations. Shares can be common or preferred. Preferred shareholders receive preferential dividend. Shareholders are the last to receive interest or dividend. That is, if they receive the share of profits after all the liabilities are paid off. If liability exceeds asset, negative equity exists. In an accounting context, shareholders equity or stockholders equity um, or shareholders funds, shareholders capital or all similar terms represent the remaining interest in assets of a company spread among individual shareholders of common or preferred stock. Capital surplus. The shareholders equity account that represents the am amount paid to a corporation for its common stock that was in excess of common stock's par value. This account is sometimes referred to as the premium on common stock or the share premium account. For example, a company issues 1000 ordinary shares of a nominal value of $10 each. That's the face value of the share, each at a subscription price of $25 per share. The, the $1500 difference per share raised will go to the capital surplus account or the share premium account. So basically what it says is, there's a $15 difference which will go into the share premium account. The amount transferred to share premium account may be used for paying up unissued shares to be allotted to members as fully paid bonus shares or in writing off these shares. The company can also use this amount to pay the preliminary expenses or startup expenses. It can also be used to pay the expenses of or the commission paid or discount allowed on any issue of shares or debentures of the company or in providing for the premium payable on redemption of debentures of the company. Retained earnings. As the word suggests, retained earnings is the percentage of net earnings not paid out as dividends but retained by the business to be reinvested in its core business or to pay debts. Treasury stock. It comes from a repurchase or buyback from shareholders or stocks that may have been issued to the public in the first place. When shares are repurchased, they may either be cancelled or held for reissue. If not cancelled, that shares are referred to as treasury shares. Technically, a repurchased share is a company's own share that has been bought back after having been issued and fully paid. These shares don't pay back, don't pay dividends, they have no voting rights and should not be included in the shares outstanding calculations because technically a company cannot own its own shares. 
stock options uh, a privilege a stock option is a privilege sold by one party to another that gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy or technically the word used is call or sell put a stock at a agreed upon price within a certain period or on a specific date for example stock options are often offered to to employees as an incentive as a form of non cash compensation an option can be exercised at any point at an agreed price capital reserves it's a, it's an amount that's reserved for long term capital investment projects or any other large and anticipated expenses that will be incurred in the future once a reserve is made the funds are spent on the capital expenditure projects for which they are initially intended excluding any unforeseen circumstances of course continue watching this space and we will provide more videos on all your favorite topics please give us feedback at learning@cxomap.com to improve the quality of the videos thank you